Hello folks, this is Aitana Chha from InspireToRise.com and today we are going to talk about the IQ3 5G. So guys, IQ is a sub-brand of Vivo and it's one of the latest entrants to the Indian market. Let's start with the unboxing for the IQ3 5G. This is the official box for the same. Inside we get the smartphone. It has a very unique design and it's one of the first kind of smartphones to come with such a design. Vivo has a design language like this. Inside you get the smartphone which comes with a pre-applied protector. You also get a very nice capsule shaped charging USB type C cable for this one which helps you while gaming. You also get the fast charger on the inside, TPU core on the inside along with the SIM tray opener tool. And the fast charger for this one is pretty good and you also get very good designed in-ear style earphones on the inside for the box with the smartphone. And if you talk about the build-in design, pretty solid build-in design, has a very nice glass pack. The camera module at the back slightly protrudes out and there's the power button and the volume rocker on the right hand side. The power button has a very nice serrated edge and has an orange highlight to it and if you look closely at the top is the 3.5mm jack along with the noise cancellation microphone and the antenna bands and apart from that there are also a few other better things about the smartphone like it comes with a type c port and also 3.5mm jack being a flagship it still has that on the left hand side there's a dedicated smart button which can be used to trigger the google assistant something which can come in handy it has a very small punch hole style notch on the top right and the overall bezel screen to body ratio that's also pretty good it comes with an in display fingerprint scanner which is one of the fastest that i have used till now and the screen unlock on this one using the front camera also works pretty fast it comes with the latest snapdragon 865 processor and the processing speed is not at all bad. It's one of the flagship processors right now. One of the fastest smartphones right now. And we have to wait for more Android smartphones to come up with the 865. Then we will see how well did this smartphone hold up against those. It has a 6.44 inch Super AMOLED display. And the best thing about this display is that the punch hole notch for this one is really small. And there is very minimal screen bleeding over here. The overall quality of the display was also pretty good and it comes with a 90Hz refresh rate, HDR10+, plus, Corning Gorilla Glass 6 protection and overall I really like the display. The Antutu score for this one is also one of the highest that I have seen till now and that's pretty good. Performance was really good on this one. The internal storage is also pretty fast and if you look at the Cam2 API support that's also level 3 so Gcam would probably done on this smartphone with ease. If you're somebody who's going to game a lot, you will find that the Snapdragon 865 handles almost every game with ease. I played Call of Duty on this one with very high settings, almost everything pushed to the max. No game can push this chipset to the really highest possible limits. I was able to play almost every game on extreme high dynamic graphics. Even PUBG was running fine on HDR and Ultra settings and smooth and extreme frame rate settings. And the gameplay was a joy. But if there was a 120Hz display, maybe the experience could have been slightly more better. But still 90Hz is a good balance and you get at least better playability compared to a 60Hz display. So that's something great about this phone. If you're going to buy this phone for really high class gaming, then you would be happy with the overall experience. It's no joke and it did not heat up at all. If you're playing for really long duration also, it won't heat up. And that's something commendable. The Snapdragon 865 is really great for long term gaming. The audio on this one was pretty loud and it does support HD audio through the 3.5mm jack. I felt that the camera was one of the only underwhelming aspects of this phone considering everything else was really top notch. It has a 48MP f1.8 primary sensor, a 13MP telephoto sensor, a 13MP ultra wide sensor and a 2MP depth sensor. It also features a nice macro mode. What I really liked about the camera was the fact that you get a lot of different options to shoot in different ways and I really liked about the camera was the fact that the 16MP selfie camera takes really great natural selfies. Overall color science was also pretty good. Vivo guys who are behind the IQ brand, they have pretty much worked out everything regarding the overall color reproduction, natural skin tones and everything. And the images that come out of these cameras do look pretty great. Even the videos and the combined output coming from all of the sensors are stitched together perfectly. Everything feels really natural. But the fact that it could have been a 64 megapixel sensor and it's just a 48MP sensor on a flagship smartphone, that's something which could have been improved on. 
There aren't too many problems in the IQ3 5G. This particular model that I tested was the IQ3 5G model. There is also another model which is priced quite well. The IQ3 5G model is the one which retails for a price of around 45,000 rupees and at such a price I believe that it's really a future proof smartphone. But if you buy the 4G model that's also pretty good and I would say that's a better value for money approach. I feel that for the time being the IQ3 would be one of the most competitively priced smartphones because it is one of those smartphones which has already been in production before coronavirus pandemic hit us and I believe that most of the smartphones which are going to be launched now on which would have the Snapdragon 865 chipset all of them would have a really high asking price and leaks and rumors suggest that even the upcoming OnePlus 8 Pro or 8 series might have a pricing higher than 50k then the IQ3 5G and even the IQ3 normal base model makes a lot of sense if you are looking for a flagship great smartphone so guys this was it for this video in case you like this one don't forget to smash the thumbs up button do subscribe to inspire twice for more awesome tech videos like this one I hope you guys are safe and please wash your hands, practice social distancing, stay at home, save the world, flatten the curve and most probably no matter what you do, stay inspired to rise.